Eubank Jr. led with a nice hook. Rock that dude, man. What's pop? Oh, look at the German. Hit Eubank with a straight down the pipe in the hook. I ain't mad at you, man. This ring is pretty big, man. At the end of the day, you rocking with your boy, man. Eubank Jr. versus the German. Good God. His name is a little bit twisted, so we're going to call him the German. He said he's going to upset my boy Eubank Jr., man. People, look, they in the middle of the ring. Eubank Jr. being easy, trying to see some different things, trying to, you know, look at him, go to the body a little bit there. You Bang Jr. putting the action on him, using the jab. Woo! I see you. Now, I can look at it right now. The German is trying to set you bank up. He's looking for the proper, uh, clean counter punch, like right there. You see what I'm saying? Now, you Bang Jr. is just stepping aside, using the jab, stepping aside. You see what I'm talking about? Got the high guard up, using the jab. The, the, I'm telling you right now. You dig? Uh, this is a good matchup for your boy, Eubank. He's been out for quite a long time, man. And I just want to see his footwork. I want to see his combination, his punch placement. I want to see what basically what Roy Jones has implemented in his game. And this is a big, big ring. And Eubank Jr. is working the whole ring. I need him to find his way, find his comfortability getting in the inside versus this guy. This guy is a great counterpuncher. If you're watching this fight like I'm watching this fight, you see he's allowing uh, Eubank to get close, throw a jab, and then he throws three punches. Oh, right there. Bang. You see what I'm saying? So you see what I'm saying? Now your boy Eubank Jr. needs to understand where the punches are coming from. You see me? So he can place his punches properly. Now I can't wait till he go to the corner. Like right there. Eubank Jr., you just going straight back. You see what I'm saying? Eubank Jr. slipped to the body. He goes straight back. The combination punches are coming from the German. Hit him to the body. Hit him up top. The bell rung. This is something that I don't like. Come on, baby. Now he on the front foot. He's feeling good. So you never get a, a let a guy get into a fight hitting you with shots like that early because now he wants to bring the action. What I want to say is, this is second round, people. Eubank Jr. is in the conundrum, right? You know, when you fight B-level guys, you don't want to get hit. You don't want to get knocked out. Oh! You Bay Junior said, okay, baby. I'm going to the body. Get up off me. You see what I'm talking about? I'm going to show you some things. First round was slight. First round was easy. Let me show you something here. You Bay Junior goes to the body. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at the jab by you Bay Junior. He slipped to the side. Now he's slipping the counter punch. That's what I'm talking about, you Bay. Let his hands go. It's different, man. He looks beautiful now. Now he's leading with the right. Now he's going to the body. Now he got him on a rope. Woo! Referee, get out the way. You Bay Junior trying to work, baby. You Bay Junior trying to work, baby. What I was trying to say before is when you go up against a B-level, C-level guy and you A-class, any punch that the, UB, that the B-level guy, guy lands on you, it's a big deal to the people, right? And, and it gives him courage, right? And then you become cautious because you don't want to get in the inside, do anything that can get you rocked. You see what I'm saying? And then, you know, then it's like, yes, your career, right? Or you may get the win, but you look exposed. So I understand the conundrum fighters like Eubank is in when you go up against B-level fighters, but at the end of the day, Eubank Jr. came out in the second round doing what he do, letting his hands fly. Now he's pushing back the German. Now he's going to the body. Now he's measuring it. Now he's slipping the hook. That's what I'm talking about, Eubank. Eubank just want to break him down. That's what I'm talking about, man, but this ring is super big, man. Good God. You feel me? This is the type of ring that Anthony Joshua need. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You heard? But yeah, you Ben Jr. is slightly Oh, good shot by your boy. You Ben Jr. but the Russian uh but the German uh counter punch real beautifully. Real beautifully. That was a good counter punch by the uh German. You see me? But um yeah, so I'm not sure we're gonna see I'm gonna see what I wanna see. I'm seeing explosiveness and, and, and spurts. You feel me? Because the uh, German is looking for a counterpunch and he's backing up. But, you know, the Eubank Jr. is, you know, he's trying to back him up, trying to cut the ring off. You see what I'm saying? Slipping this line. I think that, look, he's been out for a while. And I guess he's saying, you know what, man? Let me go some rounds with this guy. Let me slip and dip. Let me get comfortable with this ring. You feel me? It's before I get in the ring with somebody good. You dig? And I understand it. I, I do. But, but the German is lit. He got long, good range. He's decent sized, and he's a good counter puncher, man. And you can see that he's timing Eubank. You can see that he's trying to time something. <laughs> Eubank just dropped him with a <laughs> Eubank just dropped him with a uh, <laughs> with a shoulder punch. Talking about he pushed you. Eubank, you hit your shoulder, Playboy. <laughs> yeah. New media, new perspective. This is what new media look like. This is what new media look like. Uh, it's 
it's all about you and you box and talk. Just when you thought you had to figure new media, new perspective, cash and box and talk.